to be with God. Mm. It is hard was to be in God's dwelling place. It's hard, it's hard was to be with God's people. And the same thing for us now is, can we say with all of our heart that my soul yearns to be in God's mm. kingdom? Yeah. That I desire so much to be at midweek, to be at meetings of the body, to be at Bible talk, to be at my D time, to be at Sunday service. Or is our flesh and our soul crying out to be at our jobs, to be at, to be at our other schedules that are coming to God? Mm. In, in verse 3, the Bible says, even the sparrow has found a home and has swallowed the nest for herself, where she may have her young. A place there your altar, Lord Almighty, my King and my God. You know, these birds, mm. a sparrow and a swallow, they're very, very busy birds, mm. you know according to nature but it says that these these very busy birds have found their home mm -hmm. in god's presence you know as wow. singles as married yeah. we're very very busy i'm sure marriage are a lot more busy than we are but it says if the if the if the birds that never find a place to stay can find a home in god's presence wow. then we can find dwelling in god's right. presence no matter how busy our schedule yeah. is we can always find rest in God's presence yeah. in the wow. kingdom. The Bible Amen. says, blessed, That's true. again, blessed means superlatively happy. Yep. It says, happiest are those who dwell in your house and they're ever praising you. You yeah. know, this is the heart of discipleship is that we're, we're, we're happy because we get to dwell in God's house and we're yeah. ever praising God. As disciples, this is the heart is, this is who we are. It's, we're just born to be able mm. to worship God and to give praise to God. You know, yeah. sisters, are we happy? Are we ever praising God, no matter the circumstance, no matter how busy our schedule gets, you know, at work, in our family, mm. do we find rest in God, or do mm. we find rest in other things in the world, in wow. the world? You know, the heart of somebody, of, of a disciple, I know a lot of us aren't here tonight, so I think it's perfect, mm. you know, people have different work schedules, people aren't feeling very well, and all of these things, but a heart of the disciple is a heart that sees God's kingdom, as a lovely place. Mm -hmm. If you see a place as a lovely place, you will do everything you want, uh, so everything you can to be there. You know, worshiping God for you would not be um, something that you have to do but because you want to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody is forced wow. to go yeah. to wow. yeah. Disneyland, sorry. What, we, what do we have here? We have Enchanted, Enchanted Kingdom. Kingdom. You know, nobody is forced to go to EK. Like, you want to go because you want it's to. awesome, it's lovely, you want to enjoy the ride. In the same way, is is that this? Do we have more than the heart for God's kingdom, or do we feel like, oh, I have to be at meeting, mm. I have to be at Bible talk, I have to go to Sunday service? Wow. If if worshiping God isn't something that we enjoy to do as disciples, mm -hmm. then there is no point in becoming a disciple. Right. Because this is our whole heart. This is our mm -hmm. whole life. Is just to be able to worship God. Wow. You know what happens when we are unable to be in God's house? When we're unable to be at midweek, our souls and our hearts should be longing to be there. If there is no longing, if there is no fear of missing out, if there is no that just, oh, I wish I was in God's house. Yeah. I wish I was able to go to midweek today, then there is something wrong. You know, when we're, phys uh, when we're feeling spiritually weak or physically weak, that really is not, is, isn't an excuse not to go to God's yeah. house because somebody who truly loves God, they understand that they're weak until they can worship God wholeheartedly. You know, when we're weak, we come to God to be able to get strength from God, not away from God. You know, I, I love Ate Rosas' conviction. Her conviction is if she's not dying, she's going to be at church. Mm -hmm. And she's never missed church. You know, Atherin yeah. Rosas is always at church. It doesn't really matter how sick she was, how bad right. her dysmenorrhea was, whatever it is that was wow. going on in her life. But she's like, I want, mm. as long as I'm not dying, I will be at church. Mm. You know, when we're unable to worship God with our difficult work schedules or our family schedule, yeah. what is our heart? Is yeah. our heart willing to change that? Are we begging to God to give us a new work schedule? Or wow. are we just okay along with that? Long? It's okay, that's all I have. I'm just going to work with it. Mm. We should be making active plans if we really love to be able to worship God. You know, as disciples, when do we consider ourselves super? When, when do we say that we're blessed? In verse 4, the Bible says, Blessed are those who dwell in your house. Mm. You know, we can only be superlatively happy if we're dwelling in God's kingdom. A disciple that's not at meetings of the body every single time they're supposed to be and are happy to be there, they can never truly be happy. 
You cannot tell me that you're blessed and you're very, very happy if you're missing meetings of the buddy every single week or, you know, yeah. you have you have some reason not to be at church because this, this, this is where we get to be praising God. You know, when we dwell in God's house, dwelling is not, it, it's, it's a permanent thing. For example, that's my dwelling, and that's where I'm going to be forever. Mm -hmm. And the same way for us is this is where, yeah. where we want to be forever and ever in our lives. You know, if we're unable to worship God permanently, we need to find a way to change that. You know, now ministry, there's so many people who miss midweek because they have work, because they have all of these schedules. Yeah. We need to work on um, changing that so we can be able to worship God permanently. We cannot keep living this way and just not regarding God as who God is, you know, our heart needs to be, I long to be at God's house to be able to worship. When there's a worship, when there's midweek, when there's Bible talk, when there's Bible discussions, when there's D time, when there's Sunday service, our heart is always to be there to worship God. Mm. This, this, this is why we became disciples yeah. in the very first place. Wow. And if it's not that way right now, we need to make plans to help those that are not here to be here every single time. Not just because that's what the church wants, mm -hmm. but because that is the heart of people yeah. who are worshiping God. Yeah. And that really is how we can become superlatively happy. Mm. Amen. 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 And uh, point number two is, blessed are those whose strength are in God. Mm. In Psalm 84, in verse five to nine, and it's just a few scriptures down. Uh, let's read. The Bible says, blessed are those whose strength is in you, those hearts are set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength mm -hmm. to strength. To each appears before God in Zion. Hear my prayer, Lord God Almighty, listen to me, God of Jacob. Look on our shield, O God, look with favor on your anointed one. You know, in verse 5, the Bible says, Blessed are those whose strength thou is in God. And those hearts are set on the pilgrimage. So we can see here that again, the only way that we can be superlatively and truly happy is if our strength is coming from God. Mm. You know, our strength doesn't come from the things that we have, like yeah. our job, our families, our spouses, or in perfect conditions of, from being in the but really it comes from having a real relationship with God when we're going through the hardest of times. You know, there is no way for your heart to be exposed yeah. unless you go through hard situations. Wow. You know, it's easy, it's easy to worship mm. God. It's easy to find strength in God when things are going very smooth mm. for us. But when things get really hard, are we still finding strength in God? Mm. You know, do we understand? The Bible says that their, their hearts are set, are set on pilgrimage. You know, pilgrimage is when someone that's, when you're a foreigner, you're going somewhere else. Do we, do we understand that this world is not our own? Now we're only passing by mm -hmm. as foreigners really to heaven. <laughs> what? Sorry, sorry. Yes, like an insect landing. I'm oh, sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Okay, so we're only to get the Lenny. So we really are only passing by this world and our eternal destination is heaven. Mm. So when we go through hardships, you know, when we go through trials, it should not be a surprise because that really is just helping us to be able to find our strength all the more in God. You know, how do we view hardship, sisters? Do we view wow. it as, as something that is helping us to be able to trust God more? You know, in verse uh, in verse 5 still, it's verse 6, it says, as they pass through the Valley of Baca. So the Valley of Baca basically mm. means a place of hardship mm -hmm. and a place of tears and weeping. The Bible says, as this people pass through a place of hardship, they make it a place of springs, meaning they find joy, they find peace in that. Um, it says they go from strength to strength, knowing and understanding that we get closer to God through each trials in our lives. Wow. You know, when we have trial, when we're in the valley of suffering, in the valley of Baca in our lives, all the more we can find strength in God. We do wow. not give up, we do not lose hope, because our pilgrimage, as we pass through this life, that is considered worship to God. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if God looks at our lives in these past weeks or mm -hmm. this past month, does he see us now we are really going from strength to strength? Or are we getting weak by week? Mm. Are we getting weakened by hardships in our lives? Mm. You know, we should be 
uh, willing to persevere until yeah. we get to heaven, until right. we appear before God. And the way that we respond to hardship shows where we are in our walks with, wow. in our walks with God. You know, the, every single day, our response to God is worship to God. Yeah. Will God be pleased with the way that we respond to Him? Do we not come to meet when we don't have money or, or when yeah. we don't feel like it's convenient for us? Yeah. Or do we only show up long when things are going smooth? You know, when we choose to be righteous in every single situation, God blesses that. And God gives us confidence that that, that, mm. that only comes from Him. And, and all the more we go from strength to strength. I really want to lift up Dana. Uh, just on, for being Dana. here, I Amen. think a good example is Amen. Dana. On, Dana. So Dana had a work retreat um, from yesterday at that until tomorrow, <coughs> supposedly, in Tagaytay. It was a school yeah. retreat that she had to be at. And they like, you have to be there from Tuesday until Thursday. Oh. And if you don't go, you have to pay 7,000 pesos more. Oh. And then I was willing to pay that money just to get me big today. Oh. But she didn't pay it. I was like, just talk to them, let them know. You will leave on Wednesday after oh. and be here from me big. But really, oh. Dana was willing to sacrifice yeah. money, 7,000 pesos, just to get me big this wow. week. You know, do we have to Come on, Dana. God yeah. today, you know, sisters, the challenge really is for us to look at our at our pilgrimage, at, at how we're living our lives every single day. Is it pleasing to God? Is mm. it worshiping God? Mm. Or will God be disappointed looking at our lives wow. when we respond to hardship yeah. and how we respond to trials? You know, if we have difficult work schedules, if we if things aren't working out for us, maybe talk to your boss, fast and pray about it. But really, our hearts, our our heart condition. Our heart's conviction mm. should always be to be at God's presence and yeah. be able to worship. You know, for those who are far away, the call is for them to move to Manila to, so, so they can be able to worship yeah. God. You know, we need to make sure that we're making active plans to be worshiping God without any distraction, without any um, hindrance. Amen. 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 Point number three and our last point is, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Come on, Joe. Uh, in Psalm 84, verse 10, this is from our theme scripture, um, Kanina. The Bible says, let's say amen when we're there. Amen. 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 The Bible says, better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the house, than dwell in the tent of the wicked. Again, this is the heart that we get to be, that, that we should have while worshiping God. Now, in the kingdom, as long as we have each other, as long as we have our walks with God, it doesn't really matter what our position is. It doesn't matter what we have or what we don't have. As long as we get to worship God, that should be enough for us. You know, sisters, today, if everything is taken away from us, our jobs, our spouses, the things that we hope and dream for, will worshiping God be just enough for us? Mm. When we are unable wow. to physically move, will we still be willing to worship God no matter what happens? And if the answer is no, really ask yourself, what, what would hold me back from worshiping God with all of my heart? Mm. You know, when trials come your way, when troubles come your way, will you still worship God? Wow. Or will you find, a, find an excuse to not worship yeah. God? Because again, it says, I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. There's mm -hmm. nothing the world can offer us. No matter how mm -hmm. much we work, you know, how much money we make, there's, there is going to be an emptiness still. Right. It's so much better to be in God's kingdom. Than to, and yeah. just to be able to listen back to the sermon every single Sunday than to have everything I'm in the world. Mm -hmm. um, in, in reading in verse 11 to 12, the Bible says, For the Lord, is a, for the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Mm -hmm. The Bible says here now God gives us favor and honor and says no good thing is withheld from us if we walk blamelessly before him. And as we worship God, our, our, our worship to God needs to be blameless. What is blameless? Meaning Malang Kasalana. Mm. It needs to be of a free conscience before God. He says if we do this, nothing will be withheld from us. Meaning God, God, God would actually give us what he wants to give us, which is what is good and what is right. It says, blessed is the one who trusts in you. You know, when, when we see that God is enough for us, God, God promises to give us the best things in life. 
you know, we may not see it now, but the truth is, if we give our whole hearts to God, God will lead us to where He wants to yeah. lead us to, which is best. Right. But we cannot get to where God wants us to be if we don't embrace the trials and aren't willing to turn to always worshiping God. Man. If God is not in, if worshiping God is not enough for us, mm -hmm. nothing ever will. Yeah. Because if we don't rid ourselves of everything and just mm. be happy with worshiping God, we cannot be led to where God wants, what right. God, where God wants us to be. Yeah. And there is no point in living as a disciple mm -hmm. or giving country or just coming long every single mm -hmm. time to church mm -hmm. if our heart is not set on worshiping God with the trials and until uh, until forever. And that is the whole point of, of midweek, of D times, of church. It's just because of God wants us to just enjoy our personal relationship with Him. Yeah, at the end of the day, I've been... I've been, I've been uh, telling to the sir that I disciple now, all I just want for them is just for them to be able to get to heaven. Yeah. You know, all God, all I want for you is just to be happy, is right. to, to be a woman who worships God with all of our heart. Mm -hmm. And that is the whole goal. It doesn't matter what we have, what we mm -hmm. don't have, as long as we can walk with God blamelessly, then we have everything in the world. So really, again, as we close out tonight, let's, let's, let's ask ourselves, sisters, am I giving my best to God in worshiping God? Wow. Is this the best that I can do in worship God? Can I do mm. more for God? Because the truth is, there is always so much more to do. But even through trials, even through hardships, am I willing to redirect my path so I can be able to be where God wants me to be? Because God always, as we know, God wants what's best for us. God mm. has the most amazing plan yeah. for us. But we cannot be able to tap into that mm -hmm. if we don't give our whole hearts to Him and then walk in the sleep before Him. So that's all I wanted to share tonight and to God be the glory. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yay. 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 On up at yeah. the back. Close up. Ayan. Um, another uh, life-changing uh, message, Joe. Um, Para sa akin, yung point number one is, um, yung dwelling place natin is yung kingdom ni God. Sabi niya ganun. Uh, the church is composed of sinful people. Mm, true. Like ours. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But at least in the kingdom, they are, uh, uh, we are taught, we are taught of being righteous or at least close to following God, to be obedient to God. Kasi, um, sa ibang organization hindi naman natin makikita yung yung ano mayon yung ginagawa natin sa kingdom ni God so uh, welcome dito everybody especially those who are sick physically spiritually mentally emotionally lahat yan welcome sa kingdom kaya nga binubuo ni God eh. yung confidence natin uh, binabalik ni God magstay lang tayo sa kanya so true the kingdom is our dwelling place wala nang iba there's no other hindi yung work hindi yung bahay, kundi yung kingdom. And mm -hmm. second, the house with the kingdom. Then, yung point number two, blessed are those whose strength is with God. Like, um, importante kasi yung relationship natin kay God, yung heart natin yung nagmamatter. Minsan, physically, ayaw natin. Mentally, we're not feeling good, like, going out. But, you know, if yung heart mo is solid, kahit struggle ka pa physically, you go. Yeah. You attend the service, you're not gonna miss the meeting mm. of the body because your heart, your relationship with God, yung desire, mm. yung nagmamatter. Mm. So, ayun yung um, importante. Parang ano to eh, uh, investment, spiritual investment mm. natin sure. yung kingdom ni God. Pagka kasi hindi tayo busy, ano nangyayari? Sin. 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 We fall into sin. Anong klaseng sin? Lahat. Selfishness, mm. impurity, impure thoughts, lust, everything. Mm. Uh, kaya tayo binibisi sa kingdom ni God. That's like true, we have day times, we have midweek, we have Sunday service, we have Bible talks, we have fun times, we have EKD. That's why um, kinikip tayo na maging busy. Para si Satan, walang space sa atin mm. na mag-isip. Like, kung single ka ngayon, oh, I don't know. Anong pecha na, wala pa. <laughs> wala pa yung right guy for me. Uh, trust God. Si God ang magbibigay sa'yo ng brother, hindi yeah. ng man outside the world yeah. or outside the kingdom. Yeah. Man. Walang alam yun eh. Walang alam security. <laughs> so, importante, brother sa kingdom. Kung yeah. married naman tayo, tapos yung spouse natin is hindi disciple or single mom, um, 
dwell your heart to God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ano mo yun? There's no, wala tayong pupuntahan na mas, mas 100% yung ibiga, ibalik, yung balik, yes. magiging uh, tutulungan tayo to make it to heaven kung hindi ang kingdom ni God. So, yes. whether, tulad ng sinabi ni Carmen Vela, rain or shine, oh. in season and out of season, yeah. sa kahirapan or sa karangyaan, mm -hmm. um, Mapa, wala pang sweldo, mapa sweldo. <laughs> Amen. Diyan lang tayo, tuloy-tuloy oh, yes. lang tayo Amen. sa pagiging faithful natin. So, wow. thank you, Jo, for that. Amen. Thank you, Jo. Oh. Oh. So, that's all. Oh. 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 Um, announcements live, sorry. Sunday will be at Jollibee PGH. Yes. Last time, yes. Awesome. Yeah. If you guys have any suggestions on how to make the room maganda or inviting, the room is very simple. Like the usual dining. The usual dining. Yeah. 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 Uh, West region. Oh, oh, meron kami. Ano? Yung nilagay na lang. Yung na lang. Okay. The usher. Any other suggestions? The usher. Ito yung small table nila. Okay, if we can put like a linen or small cloth. Wala na tayo ng happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, so banners, small table. Ano pa? What can we? White White. Oh, any, yung any, yung alin yung table? Oo, oh, 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 pato na sa table para lang merong ano yung form. Ay, pag dikit-dikit yun Ano? Dikit-dikit. Sana yung mga flowers during the Women's Day. Ay, sige, flowers. That's ano, di ba? If we have flowers, sige. Nasa brother. Uh, Nasa brothers. Uh, what else can we do to make the room? Oh. Smell good, bro. Yung ano, G, yung mga <laughs> ribbon mo sa chairs. I think yung position ng tables, like instead of like that, pwedeng pag ganon, Circle? No, parang pagganon. Payu. Pay, pay, payu. Parang hindi naman siya like yun na curve. Parang pagganon siya. Tapos sa likod na lang yung iba. Para tapos sa gitna yung nagpipreach. Tapos di ba? Nakabit palibot lahat. Tapos nasa gitna lang. Parang ganyan. Kasi sa... Also, some of the chairs kasi are dikit-dikit. Oh, ah, okay. it, like, it cannot be ah, moved. Ah, oh, not movable. Ah, okay. So, let's see. Pero the, the tables, yeah. but can it be moved? Some. Some. Mm -hmm. Just some. Okay, so, okay well, I'll try to bring all of these and any more things on Sunday. Let's try to be, I know the opening time is 9.30. Eh? Ah, okay. 